is your weakness. Yes, we are very good at talking smack in <laughs> RPG terms. Now that's the basics of the battle, and as you can see, um, if we go through the entire game of, of the party running around here killing things, uh, it's going to get rather boring, so... Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. You're a talking rat. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same, but it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... well... Mouse. Not your real name, I take it? No. I don't remember anything from... before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim, and you don't have much time before you end up the same. How long do I have, exactly? I... I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. What am I supposed to do? There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fade. Anything can die. I doubt it's as simple as that. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. Okay, so... We now have a mouse following us around. Interesting. Uh, oh, yeah, so what I was saying before is, obviously, you know... Plot events like that aside, just me broadcasting how I'm going to, you know, uh, or me just going around here killing things is not going to be particularly interesting. So most of the time in the future, I'm going to cut out a lot of the running around, uh, and I'll just leave in the plot, uh, the plot points like the one we just saw. But since I'm still introducing the game, uh, I'll just keep going with uh, this first uh, dungeon here. A ring of flames. That's not ominous at all. Lyrium Vein. Uh, if we touch this, it'll restore our mana and I think maybe our health as well, but definitely our mana. Lyrium uh, is basically the material that uh, is kind of the magical mineral. It uh, allows mages to cast magic and it allows weapons to be enchanted. Um, it's also highly addictive and dangerous, as you will see later. Oof. Now you see on the radar now, there's a little X. An X will lo is the location of either an important character or a place that we can go to. And the white arrow means that a, 
uh, one of the quests that you are currently on can be progressed by going to this place. So we are going to go do that. After we destroy this thing. Now you notice that there are number keys here. You can assign items and uh, uh, abilities down here, and then you can just press the number keys to use them. We don't need that one on the quick bar, so we will get rid of it. Another spirit this way. It never seemed equal to its name to me. It is a spirit of valor. Which sounds a lot better than any kind of demonic spirit.